Welcome to this reflection for Wednesday, the 1st of April. Today, the text that I've chosen is cast all your anxiety on the Lord, for he will sustain you. And that's from 1 Peter 5, verse 7. And in many ways, today's reflection follows on from Monday's, which, if you listened to it or read it, was all about the contrast between fear and faith. Cast all your anxiety on the Lord, for he will sustain you, Peter exhorts in his first letter. And he was writing to a group of Christians living throughout Asia Minor, which is modern-day Turkey, to encourage them as they were facing great suffering and persecution. We're not facing persecution as such, but the atmosphere of suffering in our world at this time is real, and a sense of similar near-apocalyptic doom hangs over us all with the spread of the coronavirus, the crashing of world economies, and with what, all that we're seeing on our TVs. I'm sure I'm not the only one having scary dreams about end-of-the-world scenarios like Peter's first hearers. And into the midst of this, the apostle says, cast all your anxiety on the Lord, for he will sustain you. What a breath of fresh air. But it's not that simple, is it? And what it does, and what does it mean anyway to cast our anxiety on the Lord? How do we do that? What does it mean when we say we trust God or that we trust in God? Well, trust is the opposite of anxiety. Anxiety can be described as a heightened state of fear in which our brains cease being able to make reasoned decisions. Trust, by contrast, is about letting go of our need to control and acknowledging that all things are in the hands of God. Trust is a gift that God gives us. It's also something we grow into as we continue to turn to God in prayer, in meditation, in mindfulness, in reading scripture, and letting it soak into our bones, in paying attention to our breath and to the spirit of God breathing in and praying in us. So what of casting our anxiety on the Lord? Well, I've already talked about prayer. And one aspect of prayer for those of us who are followers of Jesus is to remember that he is the divinely human one and humanly divine. Emmanuel, God with us, is still with us. In Matthew eleven twenty nine, Jesus invites his disciples to take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am gentle and humble of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Casting our anxiety on the Lord is about sharing our fears with Jesus in prayer and in turn taking up his yoke, being connected with him, sharing his life and finding in that relationship comfort and the lightening of the burden anxiety brings. Nothing brings him greater joy than for us to do this, to let go of our anxiety and to live trustfully in him. May you be able to let go of your anxiety this day and live in loving trust in God.